After you've already modeled and you read your mesh, sometimes you might want to come back in and adjust your mesh by moving, scaling, or rotating edges, faces, or vertices. But when you do that, you will mess up your UVs. Same thing will happen if you attempt to optimize your geometry by moving and merging vertices, such as in this area here, or here, where there are additional edges we would want to remove and move and merge these floating vertices here. So you want to have the ability to come back in and make additional adjustments in geometry as well as optimizing your mesh after you've already completed your UVs. To do this, you need to enable preserve UVs. Double click on the move tool here on the left hand side to open up tool settings and enable preserve UVs. A quick shortcut you could use is hold on control, shift, right click, hold, and enable preserve UVs from here. Now we can optimize this section by moving and snapping the vertices to the corner and then merging them without affecting our UVs. If we come over here, we can do the same thing in this corner by snapping these vertices to a corner. And sometimes you won't be able to overlay more than two vertices at a time. So just merge these two first and drag this vertex, snap it, and then merge it. We can remove edges, we can scale our geometry, and we can rotate. All work with preserve UVs. We can even reshape our geometry by moving edges and vertices, and it will continue to maintain your UVs. Preserve UVs even works when you bevel faces and bevel edges. But it doesn't work in every case. It won't work if you distort and rescale your geometry too much, or if you add new geometry, such as using extrude and bridging. So just be aware that it will not work in every situation, and you might have to re-UV some parts of your object. Now, if you want to use extrude and preserve UVs, there is an option inside bonus tools. Under modeling, extrude faces and preserve UVs. You can watch my other quick tip on how to download and install bonus tools. So select the face, go to bonus tools, modeling, and extrude faces and preserve UVs. This will preserve UVs using extrusion, but note that you can only use offset. And if you create new geometry by using thickness or local translate Z, it will not work. So it's still a nice option to use. So I recommend that you use preserve UVs for when you want to maintain your UV layout, but still adjust geometry and optimize your meshes.